I call the honourable member for La Trobe. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Education and Training, representing the Minister for Employment. Will the minister explain why the government is taking action to restore the rule of law on the construction sites? What challenges does this reform face? I call the honourable the Minister for Education and Training. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the member for La Trobe for his question. And he, like me and like uh, all members on this side of the House, is very concerned, as a former policeman, about the breakdown of the rule of law on some construction sites around Australia because of the actions of the CFMEU. The CFMEU, uh, more revelations are emerging again today about action that the Fair Work Building and Construction Commission is needing to take. Uh, uh, against the, the CFMEU to ban seven more officials leave. from building and construction sites. Now, I see that the Labor Party, yet again, are standing up for the CFMEU. Now, I can't read, I can't read the comments in the newspaper today, Madam Speaker, because they are so vile, used by officials of the CFMEU towards the inspectors of fair work the building and Bendigo construction, is warned. Uh, because it would offend not only members in this chamber but I think everyone listening. The reality is the CFMEU believes it is above the law. And don't just take my word for it, Madam Speaker. That is the, they are the words of the federal court who's fined the CFMEU $125,000 yesterday, saying that the CFMEU is a recidivist. The overwhelming inference is that the CFMEU, not for the first time, decided that its wishes should prevail over the interests of the companies and that this end justified the means. The CFMEU is out of control on building sites in Australia, and that is why the government is trying to bring back the Australian Building and Construction Commission, which the Labor Party continues to oppose. It's why we're trying to introduce the Registered Organisations Commission, which the Labor Party oppose. It's why we created a Royal Commission into thuggery and intimidation in the worksite, which had a tepid support from the Labor Party. It's why we want to put a tough industrial cop on the beat of building sites. Now, the Labor Party's alternative is no ABCC, no Registered Organisations Commission, a tepid support for the Royal Commission, and they want to put the fashion police on the work, work site, Madam Speaker. The advice that the Labor Party wants to give to the CFMEU, uh, which goes a little with the Leader of the Opposition's general philosophy of life, which is that everybody is somebody, which he borrowed from the travelling Wilburys. The advice that he wants to give to the CFMEU is blue and green should never be seen, Madam Speaker. That's the advice that the Leader of the Opposition wants to give to the, to the CFMEU. We want to say abide by the law to the CFMEU. We want to restore the rule of law on building sites. The Labor Party says they shouldn't wear their bikey colours the when they turn up to construction sites. He brings those wonderful zingers to this debate, Madam Speaker, and this one will be blue and green should never be seen, or the darkest item you should be wearing should be your socks. That'll be the advice he gives to the CFMEU. He should get on board with the ABCC when he gets the chance in the Senate to do so.